stand stage. Congratulations, new challengers. You'll be our main event. And check it out. Ever since your little intrusion, our numbers are skyrocketing. 40,000 viewers. I think I know what this is. Same here. This is an underground fight club. Being broadcasted, broadcasted to, to the, the dark, dark web. web. Wait. How do you know about the dark web, Joy? Hitch, we've all done things we're not proud of. Felt that. Hey, put that guy in the sidelines. We'll get back to him once the stream is over. So, I guess we'll have to fight you to get to him. Me? No! What fun would that be? Let's let the twins start this off. Hear that, folks? These new challenges are gonna prove their strength by fighting the twins! Wait. The twins? As in the Kishimura twins? Wait, it's all making sense. Y'all, we need to bounce. We're in way over our heads. But what about the hostage? If we stay here, we're all dead anyway. What do you mean? Hitch? Mia? What do you guys know that we don't? Well, let's not spoil the fun now. <laughs> I can't just let you leave when you haven't earned it. Now, you have four minutes to pick the first gladiator to fight on your behalf. Joy. I'm sorry I got us into this. Don't worry about it, Betty. It was a team effort. Now, who are we gonna pick to fight? It can't be Betty. She'd get ripped in half. <laughs> I don't wanna get ripped in half. Why are you horny all the time? Oh, please. I'll do it. If all it takes to win Hitch's heart back is beating the ass of this bastard, then I'll gladly do that. That's... I didn't say any of that. We've got our gladiator, and it's none other than yours truly. Getting hitched back and getting to shine in front of tens of thousands of people? Sounds like my kind of party. We've got our first fighter! What's your name, miss? Mia. That's M-I-A for your records, by the way. Huh. This shouldn't take long. Which of you wants to take this one? Ah, this should be fun! Come on, guys. We should get out of here. We can get a good view from those rafters. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone under the sun, both in person and the beautiful people at home, here is a fight for your viewing pleasure. One of the legendary Kishimura twins, their name known citywide, versus the mysterious stranger who is brave enough to challenge them, Mia. Let round one of the stand stage begin. Long time no see, asshole. Still being an errand bitch for the Unigami? Oh shit, it's the Unigami. I knew it. The Unigami? What is that, a gang? Is that why you wanted us to leave so bad? Yeah, and it looks like Mia's familiar with them. Looks like Mia's about to attack. Well, if you're just going to stand there, I'll happily make the first move. On you stupid! You've got to be joking. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not supposed to happen. Probably not, but hey, she said she wanted to fight, so I say we just sit back and enjoy the show. Normally I'd be worried, but I agree with Joy. She's smart. She can handle it. What the hell is up with that? Hitting the ground? What sense does that make? Uh, whatever. I gotta get Pink Floyd back online. For every second it's off, I'm completely defenseless. How did those even hit me? Judging by the angles, there was only a 2.75% chance of those shards even coming anywhere close to me. Did she know that? Why would she throw that piece of the ground at the wall otherwise? So are we taking bets on how that happened? Sure. I think her presence controls rocks. 3,500 yen on it having something to do with gravity. Do you believe in gravity? Betty, what? It's a movie reference. One of the Mighty Guy movies that Betty likes. Mighty Guy 4! Revenge of the Green Moon to be specific. It was right before the final fight. 
Tell, Tell me, mighty, mighty guy, guy, do you believe in gravity? You dragged me to see that movie like 20 times. Am I the only one at least a little concerned for Mia? Probably. You're the only one she likes anyway. Yep, don't hurt me none. Finally! Alright, minor setback. Now if I input a Boolean expression and set the machine gun to true... Bam! You may have rocks, but I have bullets. It has a gun? So Pink Floyd has invisibility and a gun? It doesn't appear to be a very powerful one. Probably fires bullets with the same force as a BB gun. Annoying, but not lethal. She's within range. Now light her up, Pink Floyd! <laughs> Fuck! Well, so much for that gun. She's in a really bad spot. We should jump in and help. I'm sorry, but that would be against the rules of the game. <laughs> How'd you get here? I parkoured up here a while ago, actually. Sorry, but I can't let you go down there. Because what would be the fun in that? <laughs> what the hell is happening to Pink Floyd? First a blackout, then a gun jam. This hasn't ever happened before, so it must be something having to do with that presence over there. Wait, what the fuck is she doing? Oh, this should be interesting! No way! She's... Nasty. Hmm. Guys, that's a dude. Also, unfortunately, he didn't strip completely naked, so y'all can stop being a bunch of babies. Oh. Dude or not still doesn't explain why he stripped in the first place. Do you always talk this much during a fight? Don't smoke, it's bad for you. His stand, rock with you, is not one to be taken lightly. Let's just sit back and be entertained for a bit. Seducing me won't work, asshole. I lean more towards girls anyway. I liked you better when I thought you had something I could finger. Mind? Don't tell me a spider gets to her this much. She's had an irrational fear of spiders ever since she was little. That's so nasty! Ugh, I hate spiders! <sighs> Wait, not only did the spider conveniently land on him, but the spider immediately bit him after landing too. Not only that, but he's leaving the spider on him, not killing it or anything. That makes absolutely no sense. This has to do with the presence. I know it. I need to think. There's no way she's doing that shit in the middle of a fight. Bloody hell, what might this be? She plays the violin to think. Oh, ho, ho. what an incredibly irrational act. Yeah, it is pretty strange. My violin shattered the bulb. If I can play at that pitch again, maybe I can shatter another one and keep him immobilized with the glass. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? How did this snap around the neck and not the strings? It only snapped after I tried to redo my attack because it worked the first time. Whatever, Pink Floyd's machine gun should be fine now. I can at least try to shoot again. Light him up, Pink Floyd! The fuck? Ugh! Pink Floyd, attack! Pink Floyd, attack! What did 
I do to deserve this? Looks like you got two fifths of a presence down there, you bitch. Think, Mia. What's making your attacks fail? Okay, let's start with D something useful. Use your clues. The arena piece, the clothes, the mouth. The arena piece, the clothes, the mouth. The arena piece, the clothes, the mouth. <sighs> that must be how this presence works. So the logical thing to do here is to pull my hand away, so that means... <laughs> the hell?! Yeah, Mia's completely lost it. <laughs> Looks like she figured it out! What do you mean? Just keep watching. Pink Floyd, scattershot! We have a winner! Hmm. We've got a loss on the twins part, though we're not done yet. There is still one more twin that must be conquered. Challenger Mia, you may go back to your team and regroup, where you'll have four minutes to pick your next gladiator. What the hell were you thinking down there? You're lucky that you hit the stage light and knocked him out. <sighs> I hate talking to idiots. Do you think that it was just dumb luck? I'm Mia Webb. I simply just outsmarted my opponent. And how did you manage that? You know me, babe. I just followed the clues, of course. Stop calling me that. It was rationality, wasn't it? Hmm, you're pretty perceptive. Good job. But it's a bit deeper than that, my dear Tafina. It's not about rationality in of itself, but about entropy. Entropy? You mean disorder? Yes, of course. You see, according to the second law of thermodynamics, disorder or entropy in the universe must always increase and can never be negative. If you've noticed, every action my opponent did defied logic and rationality. At first, I thought it was just a simple quirk in their nature or a simple stupidity. Breaking the ground and then throwing it at the wall so the fragments hit me, throwing his clothes and having it conveniently catch a breeze and blind my vision, leaving the spider on himself instead of killing it, catching my punch with his mouth. It all defied any rationale a normal human would have, which created disorder in the universe. Thus, all the actions worked out for him in some way or prevented any harm. Now take me as an example. Everything I did was reasonable and logical. I tried to use Pink Floyd, the screen went dark. I tried to use the gun, it jammed. I tried to punch, a spider landed on me. I was creating order which disrupted the entropy of the universe. It wasn't until you made disorder through irrationality that things started to work in your favor. You have an irrational fear of spiders, so when you were flailing around, it wasn't logical. That's why it worked out for you and the spider bit him. Same with your violin. Playing the violin to think, especially at that time, it's inherently irrational, which is why I worked out and busted that light bulb so the glass fell on him. But then I tried to do it again to gain more of an upper hand, which was the rational option, and that's when the neck of my violin snapped. That's when I caught on, and so I did the opposite of whatever I thought would be logical at the time. Damn. I guess that would explain the random flailing of the bullets. Of course. That was his presence's ability, to harness any disorder created to direct fortune towards the creator of that disorder. That's fine and all, but we're not out of the woods yet. Don't we have to fight another one now? Oh yeah, he said that we have four minutes to pick the next person that'll fight. And because of that explanation, you only have about 30-ish seconds left to pick. WHY THE FUCK DIDN'T YOU TELL US THAT?! YOU COULD'VE EXPLAINED AFTER WE PICKED! That sounds like a whole lot of, not my problem. I already had my fight. I'll be fine. I'll do it. Hitch, are you sure? Their presence could be anything. Are you equipped to handle a fight like that? Maybe not, but helping the hostage was my idea, so I'm going to see it through. I'll be the one to fight. Just in time. What's your name, Challenger? Hitch. Hitch Radio Star. Well, Hitch, you'll be fighting one of the legendary Kishimura twins, renowned for I their- I know full well who they are. Oh, a serious one. Well, everyone, the previous bout was a bloody doozy, wasn't it? But don't go anywhere. 
because now it's time for a fight that I'm sure will put you on the edges of your seats. The older brother of the legendary Kishimura twins versus the newcomer, Hitch Radio Star, who will win this incredible battle with 52,000 viewers watching at home. Let the second round of the stand stage begin! <laughs> 